is going to be that last to pick up. So you guys, Sheep, you got one of the heroes uh, that you Terror Blade. It's all about the late game team fights here. You're going to be a powerhouse if you get there. At the same time, it, Liquid, they have a lot to combat that team fight with displacement with the Tuscar. And if you give them a first blood again, whoo. the second first blood of the series going to Liquid once again. And we heard from our panel, they feel like Liquid's actually I'll, going I'll man to. I'll up and, and be open about it. Now, is that correct? I don't know. But, yeah. Oh. Rotation from Q surprises Nisha. Really nicely uh, planned out TP there. Massive resource advantage on the Kodo here. But he's, he's arcane booting up. I mean, this is a contest for sure. Or at least you're going to get the 50-50. And DD top, really nice news for Talon. That is a rune that Nisha really needed here. Nisha's going to fight for this one. Thunder God's Wrath bursts down the toss. And looks like Insania is going to be in trouble as well. They only need a couple more hits. And they will easily get back. The Kodo walks away. Pops away with the double kill. Ooh, top here. You have a lot more breathing room in this game for Talon to get these supports to their ults. Oh, and play around Makoto, who's they're giving Nisha absolutely nothing for free. Yeah, who's on who in this game? They're going to jump on Makoto here, but the slowdown attack speed plus a beautiful Fisher. They do have the Dawnbreaker, though, and that's going to be the extra bit of help that they need to be able to burst down. Makoto, Nisha commits. Can he finish him? They do. Zai managed to bring him down, but Nisha's going to have to give up his life for that one. And Jabs is on cleanup right now. Two kills already. Look to chase after Zai, but Mickey does manage to, like, dissuade Talon from keeping that aggression going. I think Talon's still for. And you're still looking for some action here. Only three kills in 11 minutes. Jabs. He's been playing so forward in this lane. Dude, they're going to bring four heroes to bring him down. Team Liquid, they really wanted to get this punish on Jabs, and they do get it. It cost them quite a lot, though, in some ways. But you have to make the TV Zeus. It looks like he's gone through that same thought process. His build has changed, but he's going to be caught. Q revealing himself with a blink dagger. Jabs, he'll die at the same time. So the teams were making moves on both sides. Four-man gank rotation can come from Talon. So. I mean, that, that is a... Uh... That is a weird position for Mickey to be in alone, right? Like, yeah. Just walk up mid lane, you get Echo Slam. Maybe not expecting the blink to be this fast, but it was brown boots rushed by Q. Quick Thunder and the burst damage. It comes in. They collect pretty quickly on that one, but 23 is committed heavily to be able to finish off this tower. He might pay the ultimate price for it as Boxy. Gets him down. Tag team, that's pretty easy. Boxy's going to be left behind, though, as uh, the punch finally comes through. But double kill for Makoto. Was that worth it for 23 to stick around like that? I mean, no, but it, <laughs> it feels good for his team here. Yeah, because he was thinking about getting the uh, Arcane Boots at some point in time. I remember very early on, he had the 900 gold. I was like, yep. is he going to go for it? But he went for the fast blink, got a kill. Now he can maybe help Ollie. No. And it's just an burst. And this is the combo we should be seeing a lot from Liquid right here. Storm Seer and Ancient Apparition helps out a lot to be able to land that Ice Blast. Even have Max Snowball throwing some more magic damage on the amp. Max Vortex is going to do some work here, and they're still looking. You can they control him up easily? Burst him down. Jabs. Dawnbreaker coming in for an extra stun. The extra bit of burst damage required as well. Two down is successful moves from Liquid. Begin to ramp up. Mid for Talon, prioritizing right. Makoto. His lane was pretty rough. I mean, Mickey had first blood and it's a Luna lane. And he's just the one getting hunted right now. Yeah, this is going to be the second time he's going to be ganked around his tier one tower bottom lane. And the TPs will come far too late to get Not the Not a lot of heroes survive that. Manta Lucian's going to be pushing down all these lanes. He also just picked up the shard. Jab's going to be caught here, pulled back in. Again, the double global ultimate putting to use every single time they're thinking about this Bristleback kill. They are just not letting this hero get off the ground, not letting him get to this Aghanim Scepter. Initiation, and they're going to get some information here. Talon inside the pit. Three of them caught in this Ice Blast, but it's only Nisha who's nearby. They go for the Zeus. They found an opening here. Boxy. Scouted out Makoto alone and Talon with the rest of them low like that. Three racks for 23. And he's still halfway through his meta. Oh, Mickey's just going in with Silverhead. Trying to get a little bit of scouting, but Q, who they wanted, and managed to get the TP away. They do have the Dawnbreaker ultimate. They all managed to hop out of it, so no chance. They are high. 23 is beating back Mickey. Nisha goes to the kill. On to Q, diving with his BKB. Actually, the last second of the sun, not quite good enough. Still, though. Talon are retreating successfully, even if it is a one for two. 
They don't get caught too much here. They've walked away with a kill on the carry. Of look at the like ward. Wade. Boxy sees everything right now. It's the punch up in the air. Quickly burst down Ollie with Zai coming through. A beautiful hit from the stun and getting good damage in. But the BKB just came in for 23 Savage. Got stunned up though. He's going to be maybe losing his first life. He pops it now. BKB trying to commit to the kill on the side. Like and he barely gets it, but there it is. The life goes down. Zai's going to walk away. Now he doesn't have a BKB on his second life. This is bad for 23. Bad for Talon. If they could have gotten away, but Team Liquid will not let them escape. Boxy just plays the long game. And if you jump from Liquid, you can turn it around. And you have your supports alive. That looks okay for you, Nisha. Nisha again, just diving in deep because it allows the Dawnbreaker to get the positioning. And once again, they kill kill first. This time around, the Supernova is going to go down, but Team Liquid are being able to disengage away from it. They can't let Zai get away. No way that he gets out of this for free. So they'll kill him, trading one for one. Ultimately, that... I mean, you traded a four position for a three. Surely that's yeah. fine for talent. Yeah, you're okay with that for talent. Okay. Look, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Where's our carry, guys? <laughs> that would have been the comment for sure. Boxy leading the charge off the smoke. He's going to break some smokes, and that gives an opportunity for the jump in from Nisha. But they pop their BKB on jabs. They didn't quite finish up the initiation onto the Earth Shaker. Maybe they do get him. Pull him back in. Once again, Dawnbreaker comes in, finish off the job. Zai goes for the kill, and he'll bring down Q. They can't do anything about these BKBs. They're trying to draw it out, but oh, Ollie's going to join him. In the afterlife, just too much burst damage. Now they pursue. Without the support there, they're feeling okay about this, but they've lost Boxy. Perhaps too yeah, aggressive. That was a little deep. Liquid could have just been very content taking Roshan, and maybe they still will. But they've gone a survivability it. item here if you're 23. You yeah. could have gone something like Satanic even into the A blast. It's not really been hitting you. But they got it. Oh, Jeff picked up the Aegis. 23, is it going to have that extra life? Is he going to be fine, though? Mickey right in there with a BKB, but he don't. Oh, Satanic. He managed to push through both of those heroes, one versus two, and the rest of town are crumpling to the initiation of the storms here. The Go is going to try and get away, but remember, this was an all-in. They took away the Aegis. That means 23 can't join in this fight. They buy back, but for what? The supports will not have cores join them in this second part of the fight, and they're just going to be hunted down now. Diebacks on the side of Talon. Oh no, Talon, what have you done? That A Blast did some serious work, right? Because he used his buyback earlier. I mean, number 10 for him would be a death sentence here. BK gets close, pops the break. He gets up the BKB, though, this time around. The Fisher is really nice. He had to take on a two. They're going to turn around, try and deal with the Supernova. Mick is hitting it. No He's going to get it while they've also finished off the Terror Blade. No Thunder opportunity. They pop the cheese on Jabs, but without a Terror Blade, there's really nothing left for Talon. They're going to call it here. GG. Team Liquid continuing to have Talon's number in playoff series. Get yet another victory.